God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The same God that has provided us life, the Creator of all, is offering to us eternal life. You see, the Bible does state that there is an afterlife. And the afterlife in the Bible is heaven or it's hell. There's no other. And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So as there's one heaven, there's one hell, there's one seat. God has ordained a way to get into His presence of glory. And that way of ordained is through the Lord Jesus Christ and His Gospel that Jesus suffered and died according to the Scripture and was buried and arose again the third day according to the Scripture. Man is going to die because man is a sinner. The Bible says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The Bible also says that the wages of sin is death. You will die because you are a sinner. Classify a person as a sinner. If you ever told one lie, if you ever taken something without permission, if you ever dishonored your mother and your father, or you have not given God the glory all the time, first of all. And that's just a few of the Ten Commandments. Our very thoughts are found to be sinful and we will be judged by our thoughts Jesus said whosoever looks upon a woman of lust after in his heart has already committed adultery now there's been no act and yet there's been a thought thinking can make you a sinner sinning will make you die, the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. God is not willing that any should perish. He does not want His creation to go into the devil's hell. And Jesus said hell was created for Satan and his angels. It is by the rebellion of man against the Word of God that we became the sinners that we are today. And when you are thinking that I've got a religion, my religion, my church, my pastor, my baptism, how good I am, is not the way of God. It is rebellion against the Word of God. Because the Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible does not say, go to church for salvation. The Bible does not say, be baptized to go to heaven. The Bible says, not of works, least any man boast. And there are tons and tons of belief that I am going to heaven by what I do. And yet they are not approved by God. You may approve of it, but God doesn't. And since God is Almighty God, Supreme God, the Creator, the Author of Salvation, what He says, matters of what you think or what you say.
The love of God is Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. If He has given us His Son, there was no church born in Bethlehem wrapped in slaughtering clothes that the shepherds came and saw. The wise men did not come to church bearing gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Church cannot save you. Now, I am not telling you not to go to church, but don't rely on church for salvation. Church is the place to grow as a Christian, but is not to make you a saved Christian. The Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. And you say, well, how do you know? What's the difference between religion and Jesus? Religions are dime a dozen. Jesus Christ is one. God sent no church to suffer and die according to the scripture. He sent Jesus Christ. It's not a denomination. It's a man. It's a sinless man. Born of God. Who is God? Who is the way, the truth, and the life? And who says, No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And when Jesus says, no man can come to the Father except by him, you're in trouble when you don't believe on him for salvation. When John has spoken, he that has the Son has everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see light, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. Hell is the place for those who reject Jesus. Hell is for good people. Hell is for the religious people. Hell is for those that reject Jesus Christ. Heaven is for those that receive the Lord Jesus Christ who has repented of their sins and has turned. That has put faith and belief and all in all upon Jesus Christ. The angels repent not. No angel in heaven can be saved. The fallen angels that fallen Lucifer has no hope. Satan has no hope. But you that has been born of a woman by the Creator God, born into sin, you are hopeless, and yet there's the blessed hope, and the blessed hope is Jesus Christ. That Jesus Christ is the only means to have hope. You cannot hope to get to heaven without Jesus Christ.
God has provided a way. The gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. For God so loved the world, He gave that gift. That whosoever believeth should not perish, but have everlasting life. And when you reject the preaching of the gospel, you reject God. When you do not want to hear what God has to say, you have no right to say you are of God and right with God. The Bible says, lift up your voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression. One little sin makes you a sinner. Being a sinner, you need to repent and get right with Jesus Christ. And without Jesus Christ, you are not going to go to heaven. And you better have the biblical Jesus. Because Paul warns that there is another Jesus, there is another gospel, and there's another spirit. And boy, them another's are alive and well in 2019. The Bible says, going all the world and preach the gospel. The gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died. According to the scripture. And was buried and arose again the third day according to the scripture. Proverbs 1 says, go into places of concourse and speak of wisdom. And the wisdom is that you can be saved and you can know you are going to a place called heaven by the merit of Jesus Christ alone and only by Jesus Christ. Salvation can only be wrought by the finished work of God manifesting in the flesh and the sinful work of Jesus Christ. There is no hope outside of Jesus Christ. There is no happiness and togetherness with God without Jesus Christ. He that has not the Son shall not see light, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. You cannot say, I love God and hate Jesus. And you cannot say, God is pleased with you when you reject Jesus. And you cannot say, oh, what you're doing is not in the Bible. You have not studied and read your Bible. Because throughout the book, throughout the apostles and the disciples preaching in the marketplaces and preaching that Jesus Christ is able to save your soul is a biblical sound fact in the scriptures that even Jesus himself preached in the marketplace. The Bible says, Go in all the world and preach the gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scripture and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scripture. That's the word of God. Your first relationship with God is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. There is no relationship with God without Jesus. There is no pleasing the Father without Jesus. There is no hope of you rejecting and refusing Jesus Christ. 
and your hopeless life and your life against God begins with the preacher preaches about Jesus and you wish him to go away. You wish him to shut up. You wish he wasn't here. You are rejecting Jesus Christ and thus God will reject you. For all have sinned. There is none righteous. No, not one. The only payment God takes into heaven is the payment of the precious blood of the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. That's the only payment that's approved by God and will be received by God. And according to the Bible, the blood of Jesus Christ, Acts 20:28, 20, is the very blood of God. You can't be saved as a Jehovah Witness because Jehovah Witnesses say Jesus is not God. You are not correct. That's scripture. You cannot eat Jesus and drink Jesus when the Bible says before the law, during the law, and after the law, thou shalt not eat of the, any blood. It's an abomination of blood eating. It's an abomination to have idols. The only just one. They're pretty good today. Yeah. The only just one. The only blessed hope. The only means of salvation is upon Jesus Christ. There is no other. There is no other name given amongst men whereby you must be saved. The very God that provides you the vegetables and the produce here is the very God can provide you salvation. You will receive of this gift a bounty of fruits and vegetables, but you will not receive the sun. Fruits and vegetables will gain you a, a earthly life, but Jesus Christ will gain you an eternal life. Fruits and vegetables will not give will not give you longevity. You will die. And if you die without the Lord Jesus Christ, you will go off into God's wrath. And God's wrath is hell. <laughs> For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, with the mouth confessions made unto salvation. I am witnessing with my mouth the salvation that I hold. A salvation through Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. It is nothing that I have done or could do. It has all been done by the finished work of Jesus Christ. God manifest in the flesh. It's upon his blood and his death upon Calvary's cross and his coming out of that tomb three days and three nights according to the scripture. God will not take credit for your good welfare. Hell is full of good people. Hell is full of good intention. Hell is full of religion. 
Heaven is filled with those who are saved by the blood and the testimony and the finished work of Jesus Christ alone and nothing else. You are not a Christian when you have rejected Jesus Christ. A Christian is one that has come to Calvary and believed in all and all upon the all and all Jesus Christ. That the merit of my salvation going to heaven is only by Jesus. Preaching does not get me to heaven. Preaching is a testimony that I have that I am going to heaven. That there is nothing better to lift up my voice but to lift up my voice about Jesus. Daytona Beach, several times in the year they lift up their voices because people are making left hand turns. Whoopie do. Over here, a guy hits a ball. Whoopie do. And when a man believes on the Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible says that the angels rejoice in heaven. A big whoopie to do. The big whoopee to do in heaven is when you will repent of your sins and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. God is not willing to throw, cast you to hell. You will put yourself into hell by rejecting Jesus. God suffered and died and rose from the grave that you may have life. When you go to hell, you have done it with your own rejection of the gospel being preached to you. You have said that that Jesus, that that idiot preaches, I don't want that Jesus. I don't want to hear about that Jesus. I wish that guy will shut up. And your rejection of the Jesus that's preached in the Bible, God will say, I will shut you up in hell forever. Imagine God Almighty telling you to go to hell because you've heard the gospel and rejected it. You can't say, I did not know. God will say, I sent that loud mouth preacher that aggravated you. That wouldn't show up. I sent a man with a loud voice proclaiming that Jesus saved. And you reject it. And it's your rejection of Jesus Christ that God will reject you. God will reject you because you rejected God. It's that simple. Are you saying you're speaking for God and by the word of God? Yes. By the word of God, I'm doing what I'm doing. By the love of God that I have, I am telling you that Jesus saved. Only Jesus. By the love of God and by God himself, I'm saying your religion can't save you. Your life now and your life eternal is helpless and hopeless without Jesus Christ. How much peace is your alcohol giving you? How about your drugs? And yet there's a perfect peace in all trials and tribulation, the fruits of the Spirit. It's believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved.
If you know not Jesus, God does not know you. It's that simple. Man will make it complicated. God has it. The approval of the entrance into heaven is by what Jesus has done and finished. With no help from you. Imagine a little pea brain creation of the Creator trying to tell God, I can improve what you have. When you add religion to salvation, you are adding artificial preservatives that God will not take. The natural preservative for your life to go to heaven is Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. The ingredients of salvation is Jesus Christ, 100%. 100% sinless man and 100% God. You and your religion, 100% sinner. God said, be holy for I am holy. Being a sinner makes you unholy and unable to get before God. For there is none righteous. No, not one. I mean, I don't, I don't like to speak things not biblical. But when you reject Jesus Christ, and you're standing in the great white, great white throne judgment, somehow you're going to get, I told you so, and it's going to be the street preacher that's been bothering you all these years. A man that will lie to you in the name of religion is not love. A man that will take his time and dedicate his life to the teaching of the Lord Jesus Christ for salvation. That's love. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. He didn't give religion. He didn't give work. He gave the Lord Jesus Christ. 